Well, we have a, a great announcement to make this afternoon. And we have representatives of the University of Evansville and Indiana University standing behind me. That might give you a little bit of a hint. Uh, you know, we've been working on this arena project really for five or six years, from uh, the planning stages all the way through uh, the design, the public, find the public support, the public meetings, putting together the financing plan, and as now, for the last six months, we've been uh, into construction. And it's been amazing to see this facility uh, go up in the air. Within the next several weeks, we're going to see uh, the rafters that are being built being placed right here on this facility, and I think it will once again provide a wow factor. And while the construction is all fascinating and it's exciting, and it's in people's uh, blood pumping, What's more important is what's going to take place inside this facility. And today we are able to announce uh, maybe, well, definitely one of the first athletic events to take place in this early new arena. Don't know for sure if it will be the first, but it will happen in November of 2011. And that will be uh, Indiana University of Hoosiers playing basketball here against the University of Evansville Purple Aces. I, I have two degrees from IU, so I'm trying to talk to John Stanley and Pat Shoulders and to find me a hat that's both purple and red. Uh, but it is exciting for this community to be able to host uh, Indiana University and their great tradition in basketball that I think is matched by the great tradition we have here at the University of Evans. Uh, it will be an opportunity to showcase this community and this new arena. And I think the entire community is going to come out in full support of it. It, it is a very exciting announcement to say that you know, we are going to have the best of the best coming to Evansville uh, to participate and take, play, take uh, part in events right here at our new arena. Uh, with that, I'd like to ask John Stanley, Athletic Director of the University of Evansville, to say a few words. John? Jonathan, thank you. We are equally thrilled to have this opportunity to uh, schedule an event with the Indiana University. It's very difficult to do scheduling in today's world of Division I athletics. Um, we're very fortunate this year to be able to play the University of North Carolina in the last year of Robert Stadium. And if we had had an opportunity to talk to the mayor and other people about wanting to do something that has appeal to the community as a whole for the new arena. Uh, that led to the concept of continuing to play a high-profile team against our hometown University of Ellsville Purple Aces. Um, as, this, as the discussions went along, we were able to work with Indiana University trustee Pat Shoulders, the athletic director Fred Glass at Indiana University, as well as the mayor's office to move toward the development of a series with Indiana University. We were successful in completing that just recently and um, are extremely happy with all the people involved in it. I'm very confident because it's so difficult to do scheduling that um, a, a big, big portion of us being able to play Indiana University in our, in our arena had to do with this new event. We tried it in the past before it doesn't work out, even though Indiana University has been a great uh, competitive partner for the Aces over the, over the years and even now. We play them in baseball, softball, men's and women's soccer, so they're not new to us. However, we have not played them in basketball for a long time. We understand that the community will be very excited about it. Our coaching staff uh, is also very excited about it. Coach Simmons is out of town today, but we've had numerous discussions, and he is very anxious to be able to have this series with Indiana University, and I, I feel they believe the same thing. So it's with a great pleasure that we're able to announce this today, and again, I think that we're extremely fortunate to be able to be coming into a new arena and be able to play a, such a competitive program with a great history like Indiana University because it goes along with the own, our own great history that we have at the University of Evansville with the Purple Aces. And so it should be a great event in the first year of the new arena. Thank you very much. I now, now I'd like to, this is, this is pretty dangerous, I'm going to give this microphone to Pat Shoulders, but um, he did play a substantial role in uh, making sure that this game got scheduled. That actually, the series of games got scheduled. He's also a member of the uh, IU Board of Trustees, so he's in a position to help out. Pat Shoulders. 
Thank you, Mayor. I'm here on behalf of Coach Tom Crean and Athletic Director Fred Glass to say how excited Indiana University is to get a chance to come down and be part of opening this new great arena. When you think about it, the ties between IU and Evansville are legendary. The all-time leading scorer in IU history and the Big Ten's history is Calvert Chaney from right here. Longtime coach Jim Cruz at the Aces uh, played for IU and then coached at UE. And Marty Simmons, well, he spent two years at both places, I think. Am I right about that, John? So the ties are there, and we're going to memorialize that and help kick off this great stadium, bringing my IU Hoosiers, and I'm an Evansville boy, but I love IU, right down here to center court in Evansville. We will sell this arena out, man. All right. Thank you, Pat. Um, any questions? Tell us why, uh, why a big event like this for the opening season of the arena. Well, I, it's, well, one, uh, IU is interested in playing here. Uh, they understand the importance of this arena to this community, uh, the tough road it took to uh, get it under construction and have it operational. Um, you know, that's, that's news throughout the state. And I think they want to be part of something that's successful, that's very positive, and that's why uh, I think they're very willing and interested in working out a three-game series with, um, with the University of Evansville. Um, it, it also, you know, this, is, uh, this opening year of events is going to get a lot of attention, and I would think it's in IU's interest to be, to be a part of all the great activities that are going to take place. Uh, once this facility opens in November 2001. But not sure that this is going to be the, the first athletic event played inside the new arena yet? Well, we're still waiting on a, on a specific date, correct? Yes. John, uh, you, maybe you can speak to that. Yes, we do We do not have a, a date scheduled exactly. We have There are a lot of dynamics that go on along with that, and we're trying to finish up our schedule for next year, but we feel confident that we'll be playing Indiana within the first few weeks. I don't know exactly when it's going to be, but um, we have we have a contractual arrangement for, for these three years with the final date to be determined probably sometime within the next couple of months or so. John, John, you're on the ARENA project committee, and they do have a subcommittee for the first uh, for the first event here, are you going to push for this to be the first event? Well, I, I, I think you might want to refer to Mr. Kish because I'm not sure exactly when the stadium's going to open, but we certainly, well, our basketball season starts sometime in the end of October on, so I, I feel confident that we'll be in the first group of events that happen uh, one way or the other because we'll be scheduling our games at that time. John, when is the game in Bloomington this year going to be? Uh, we are scheduled to play them in December of this year. But you don't they, have a they, specific date? I, I, I have, a, I have a, a date, but I can't recall what it is. We're finalizing the schedules with a few dates, and it, it should be out within the next month. Are we going to have the, uh, the non-conference schedule out in the next week then? Or? Yeah, so um, it'll be forthcoming really soon, but I, I believe it's in, in early December. Early December. John, because of the popularity of IU, there's no change in tickets, is there? In other words, Aces fans would get first dibs on seats? Yes, well, you know what, the way that we're handling the North Carolina is to allow our season ticket holders to have first option, and I'm sure that Indiana will certainly, as Pat pointed out, be a very attractive game and, 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 and very likely a sellout. So the first people that will have opportunity to buy tickets to that game will be those that are season tickets, and then we'll go from there. Talk about the historical significance of being able to host IU here in Evansville. I, I think that the, uh, there will be a lot of memorable things about the new arena in its first year. It's going to be such a great facility that we're at the University of Evansville, Purple Aces, to be able to play events in there is really exciting. I don't think there, I think there will be little doubt that uh, people will remember the Indiana University of Evansville Purple Aces game, along with some others that we'll be playing here as well for the first year. So from an athletic standpoint, I think it'll be great, but I also believe there will be a lot of other things that will be memorable about the new arena. Tell me about you know, how you guys are looking forward to having some new digs to play in. I think it's exciting. I mean, when you take a look around, it kind of gives me goosebumps. We've all loved Robert Stadium. Everybody that's attended games at Robert Stadium has really enjoyed it. Uh, but I've been to a lot of places throughout the country where uh, new arenas uh, have come into play against the teams that we play. And I know that the excitement there has always been outstanding. And I know that uh, uh, John Kish and all the people that have worked on the advisory boards in conjunction with the new stadium have a lot of plans for it. Our staff is excited about it, our players, our coaches. So there are a lot of really positive things. I, I, I just think that there will be a lot of electricity when we play Indiana University as well as several of our other games during the first year.
Can you visualize it standing right here right now? Can't visualize Pat Shoulders hitting a shot, but, uh, <laughs> but he has candy striped underwear on if you'd like to see. But, um, but um, um, yes, I can. I mean, I look around, I just I, I envision a full house and people cheering on the Purple Aces. And of course, we all have a passion for our home team Aces, so uh, to be able to go out there and think that we're going to have you know close to 20 games in the first year to play out here in front of all our fans and, and new fans as well is something that, yes, it makes me very excited. Why did you guys initially stop playing each other? Uh, the, uh, I think that the world sort of changes on scheduling or it gets to be very difficult. In the case of Indiana University, they, they will have numerous requests for games to play. I'm sure that as people hear that Indiana is playing Evansville in a series, there will be other schools in the state that will say, well, we'd like that too, and they can't accommodate everyone. So for a while, I think they've uh, chosen to steer clear of it, but thanks to the mayor and, and and trusty shoulders that they will get that dialogue started, wound up with something that everybody thought would be attractive for the community and the schools. This next question is for Rent Project Manager John Kish. If you could step up to the mic for a moment. As the community drives by the arena under construction, what are they seeing right now since the last time we spoke to you? Uh, they're seeing the, the uh, to the mic. They're seeing the uh, 11,000 seats, the 3,000 uh, in the upper bowl uh, are being placed. And, and if you can look at it from the top of the old bank tower, uh, you'd really see it as an arena. So we're actually uh, within feet of the actual center court uh, where these two teams will play. And it's, it's very exciting. The building's going up, and as the mayor said, in the next month we'll start seeing the, the construction. going to help you sales? Um, I would think that people really enjoy watching Indiana play, so I, I believe it will. I think that our team will uh, continue to show improvement. We've got a lot of players coming back, but you know, part of our, our role as a university in a Division I program is to challenge ourselves and bring in teams, and we're fortunate we have such an outstanding school at Indiana University that was willing to participate with us on that. But I also feel the same way about the University of North Carolina, who will be here soon, in, in December of this year. So that, that'll be an exciting event uh, additionally. And of course, you know, it goes without saying that our conference, the Missouri Valley Conference, has good, good teams in that as well, as evidenced by uh, Northern Iowa University beating the national number one seed uh, last year in the tournament, Kansas.